All right, but the second thing besides these creedal statements or doctrinal beliefs that were passed along, the fact is you had the people singing. That's right. You have hymns in the New Testament, two of the most famous of which are Philippians 5 to 11 and Colossians 1 to 15. Philippians chapter 2. Ph Philippians 2, 2 right. Yeah, Philippians 2, 5 to 11 and Colossians 1, 15 to 20, both of which are terrific summaries of the life and career of Jesus. In one case, he empties himself takes on the form of flesh, and then God exalts him. That's Philippians 2. Give me Philippians 2, the first verse there in 6. In verse 6 it says, Who, although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be grasped. Yeah, I'm just saying that doesn't sound like our 7-Eleven. You know what a 7-Eleven is? you got seven words, you, you sing it 11 times oh, in our churches today. <laughs> <laughs> is that another Anchorburgism? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing is, and I read those hymns. If you just take out mm -hmm. those hymns and you say, this is the kind of theology that was in their hymns, okay? And in Colossians, uh, what, what, how does that start off? Well, Colossians speaks about Jesus as the uh, firstborn, uh, of God, the firstborn uh, from the dead. He's uh, uh, the one who, the, the, the basic theme of Colossians really focuses on two things, Colossians 1, 15 through 20, that He is the Creator. He's the image of the invisible exactly. God. Exactly. And He's the Redeemer because yeah. we, are, we are saved by In His In both blood. passages it talks about the blood of Christ mm -hmm. the, and, and the fact of, of His saving work, okay? So you've got doctrinal teaching, you got the hymns jiving with the same thing. These are both going you back to... You got schooling and singing. I right. mean, you got schooling and singing. And remember when people are singing things, they remember the words. That's teaching taking place while worship is taking mm -hmm. place. All right, so this is happening inside the church.